Hello, I'm Jim Wright, and I'm a member of the Amateur Radio Club of Alameda. Today I'm going to talk about blogging on the ARCA website. We're going to walk through how you set up a blog and then do your first posting. So let's get started. For what you're going to need to start, there are two items. First, you're going to need an account that has blogging permissions set, and you'll get that from the system administrator. The second item you're going to need will be a photo to serve as your avatar, and that should be suitable for square format, and I'll show that down the road. So, getting started. You're going to use your username and your password to log into the site. There are two ways to log into the site. The first is through the login on the left-hand menu, and you'll do that as you always would. The second is to actually log in directly through the blogging bar and use the icon that has a lock on it, and we'll do that to get started. Enter a username. Ordinarily, that will be your call sign. In this case, we'll assign an arbitrary call sign, a fake one, KZ6HJS. And we'll type in the password. At this point, you're logged in under your blogger ID. You notice that you get two additional icons up above. One is for new blog posts, and the other is an administrative interface. Let's take a look at that for a minute. You're going to be Homer J. Simpson. Congratulations. You can edit your profile. You can look at your blog posts. Do a number of other things that are useful, but the most important is sign out. But we'll stay signed in. Let's go create the blog post. Step one, let's put a title in our blog. Is this the Baofeng killer? Second, we'll want to put in the text for our blog. We can put that in the editor window. The next thing we want to do is we want to add some tags. And these are tags that can be used uh, through the blogging interface to pull up blogs with content that of different kinds. So in this case, this is going to be for, say, MCOM. And it will be about um, public service. And let's leave it at that. And now let's go down and do the publishing. You're going to be published under your Homer J. Simpson account. Allowing comments. In general, we don't allow comments in this site because it, we just don't have that kind of interaction. Uh, subscriptions. We do allow subscriptions. That's where people can choose to be notified when new postings come up uh, on a particular blogger. Display on the front page. You can do that uh, or you can publish it later on the front page. So for right now, we'll say no. You can come back later if you're ready to do it on the front page and publish it there. Default is it'll publish on your blogging area. Next, you have search engine optimizations. And those are things that help uh, web crawlers, which are used by search engines, discover ways of uh, characterizing your content so it can be searched for and found. So, for example, a meta description would be something, a short description, hopefully having lots of the sort of buzzwords that are relevant to your posting there in a single sentence or two. And search engines typically do use those in order to provide a way of going down and finding the content. Second thing that's possible is you can put in meta keywords. Meta keywords are used a bit less by search engines these days, but it's still useful to go up pick out keywords which can help some search engines find your content. Okay, so those are the things we typically put in. Now that we've completed the initial version of the blog, let's take a look at how you can look at it. If you look up above and just below the bar that goes across the top of the blogging area, you see an eye Click on that, and that's the live preview. 
And when that comes up, you see the way your blog will look when it is published. So is this the Beofink killer? Here's the text we put in. You notice that you have your tags for MCOM and public service. And then they have the credit at the bottom, which is for you. Using the browser back button, we can return to our edit window to continue our editing. One thing we may want to do is to add a photograph. Let's upload a photograph to add to our blog. If you look to the right, there's an area with an icon for photographs. Click on Select Blog Image. Move to Upload Media. And then you can open up your local file that has the photographs. Select an image. And then you can drag and drop it to be uploaded. Because we want to use this for our blog, let's go ahead and click on it to use as the blog image. One thing to note about images you load, they should be pre-sized to the size you want them to show up on the blog. Ordinarily that's something like 400 by 300 or thereabouts. The reason you want to resize it is because if you just drag a large multi-megapixel image, all those pixels have to be loaded every time the web page comes up that contains your blog. So be sure you have resized your image to be something appropriate to directly display on the blog. Okay, we have uploaded the image. Let's see what the blog looks like now. I'll go back to the eye for viewing a live preview. And you can now see the image at the top of your blog. Let's go back to our edit window. Now that you've created your first posting, it's time to create your blogging area. To do that, go up to the top to the settings, open that up. You'll find you have a dashboard. The dashboard already has your username, your real name, your nickname if you gave it to the system admin. What you need, in addition, is a profile picture. So if you go to Browse, it'll pull up a window with a directory on your computer. You can navigate from that to go find the picture you want for your avatar. And if we look down, we see, oh, well, there's Homer the Ham. Let's select that. You notice that homertheham.jpg, the name of the file, shows up by the Browse button. So when you save, that will cause it to replace the picture that's there by default. Now, if we go below the picture, we find some additional information can be provided about your blog. So first, we want a blog title. Let's take Homer the Heartless Ham. Next, we can do a blog description. And then you probably want to put in a short biography. If you have a website, you can put that in. And you can also put in a meta description for search engines to find information about your blog. And you can put in meta keywords as well, as we did before. And at that point, we're finished. So let's save that and see what we get. And there you see your profile updated with the information that you provided and also your avatar. Now, before your blog area shows up, you will need to do one more thing. You'll need to publish the blog posting that you had set up before. So at this point, remember we set it up to not display on the front page. But we go to the Publish Now button, and it has a place to publish the blog to. 
and you look under bloggers, you'll find your website down there for Homer J. Simpson. you find a little bit of your bio, your link to your web page, and then a subscription button as well so people can subscribe to your blog. If we look at your blog at that point, we'll notice that your first blog post is present there. So at this point, you're done. As a final coda, I would like to say one or two things about the permissions you have as a blogger. One of the things you do have to watch out about is the way this system is set up. We have configured it so that bloggers have the responsibility for posting their content, reviewing it themselves, and making sure that it's appropriate to the site. So we don't go through a review and approval step, which is typical on many sites. When I provide you with the power to publish your own blog without review, you notice that other blog all have a feature this or edit entry icon near them. So you do have the power to edit other people's entries and uh, or to force them to be featured. We're not using the featuring function because what we really want is a log with updates of current events. So we don't want one featured, which will put it at the top of the blog permanently. Second, we don't want you to edit other people's entries. So if you can maintain that discipline, then we'll be able to continue to make it so that you publish your own blog posts and you don't have to go through a review step. So with that, we're complete. And if you have any questions, you should contact me and uh, ask away. Take care.